calling BBC's Any Answers? From Northern Ireland, Rexy Tier Henry Gordon said that the possibility of a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland would be a very small price to pay for Brexit. He said, It is indeed nonsense in my opinion. A lot has been made of something which is really small scale. I mean when you consider the fact that the population of the Republic of Ireland is 1% of the population of the EU as a whole. 1%, that's a tiny, tiny number. And, of course, they're using, the Republic of Ireland naturally is using it as is the rest of the EU, as a negotiating ploy. BBC Euro News Brexit News BBC Radio Caller claims the EU is using the Irish border issue as a negotiating ploy if that's the price that I have to pay for Brexit and for the UK as a whole, then it's a very small price to pay Henry Gordon, BBC Radio Caller these pretended difficulties. Of course there will be difficulties and although I am in favour of what they call a hard border or a border of any sort, I know that it will inconvenience me personally as well but if that's the price that I have to pay for Brexit and for the UK as a whole, then it's a very small price to pay. And, of course, people will say that trade and so on will be sort of made more difficult but I remind people also that between 1922 and 1973, as far as I know, there was a hard border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. I lived during part of that time and I traveled to the Republic on holiday and even to buy things and I don't recall any great jamming up at the border, crossing the border. Mr. Gordon's comments come after U.S. author Lionel Shriver tore apart the EU scaremongering tactics in the Brexit negotiations during a BBC Any Questions? debate. The American author claimed the only reason talks around the Irish border issue in the Brexit negotiations were proving to be problematic was that the EU was trying to use it as an excuse to stop Brexit going through. Ms. Shriver, a supporter of the Leave vote, also blamed the left-wing Irish Republican Party Sinn Féin for contributing to the pessimistic rhetoric around the border issue. She said, the situation is not that fragile, Sinn Féin would like you to think it is. Behind this terror about the Good Friday Agreement is the usual threat of violence, so I don't respond to it, I find the whole Irish border thing is trumped up if Americans can say that anymore. And it's being used by the Irish who do not want Brexit to go through and by the EU who, also do not want Brexit to go through. It is entirely soluble, it is being dealt with as if is not because it suits certain parties' purposes for it to be insoluble. It's the EU that would institute the hard border. The EU is acting helpless in the face of its own bureaucracy.